the Lycoming engine in my aircraft leaks. I would very much like for it to not leak, so I decided to do something about it this weekend. It didn't go great. Come along with me as we spiral down a rabbit hole. This is my Lycoming IO360. It's a horizontally opposed, air-cooled, naturally aspirated, four-cylinder engine. It has these, like, individual cylinders just bolted onto a crankcase. Let's think about that for a minute. In a world where all modern engines look like this, and this, and well, maybe not this, aviation is stuck with engines with cylinders just hanging out in the breeze. Weird. Actually, we call these jugs. <laughs> I think my oil leak is coming from the ends of these jugs where the valve head cover is attached. Continuing the weirdness vibe, these valve head covers use a cork gasket. A simple fix, according to the internet, is to replace these cork gaskets with silicone gaskets. Easy enough. The first indication that things weren't going to be easy was when I couldn't pull the valve head covers off. At first I tried to wedge it off with my flathead screwdriver, but quickly realized how terrible of an idea that was. I searched my hanger and found a little plastic wedge tool, and uh, thankfully I could pop the cover off with this without any damage to the head itself. Unfortunately, half the cork gasket remained on the head and the other half on the valve cover. Believe me when I say this cork gasket has transformed into something else entirely and fused itself to both surfaces. It was a total, you got your chocolate and my peanut butter type of situation. Hey! Oh, hey, you got your chocolate and my peanut you got butter! got peanut butter and my chocolate! I tried scraping, wire brushes, mineral spirits, it all kind of sucked. But I gradually resigned to my fate and spent the afternoon carefully scraping little bits of cork off the surfaces. Scraping, more scraping, valve cover scraping. It was around this point I remembered that I had a freaking ultrasonic cleaner. Hey, I could use this to remove the crap from the valve covers. So I warmed this bad boy up, let it run for half an hour, and it didn't do shit. Like any good half-asser though, I decided to go shopping and see if I could buy my way out of this problem. I found some hops solvent at a local gun store, which I'm told does a pretty good job of removing carbon from surfaces. I got a replacement Dremel, because mine burned out. These little guys burn out once a year or so. I consider them disposable. I picked up some new brass brushes, and brass brush Dremel attachments. Excited that the task would be easier the next day, I went to work with my newly acquired tools. I applied some of the hop solvent to the valve covers and attacked it with the brass Dremel brush. It went okay. I think maybe it helped a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. I ended up spending yet another afternoon working on this and producing only okay results. I eventually convinced myself that I was happy with my mediocre results and decided to install the new gaskets. Instructions are simple. I simply clean all the surfaces well, torque the screws to 25 inch pounds. Well it turns out getting a torque wrench on a screw is easier said than done. At first I tried using my torque wrench with a socket to screw bit, but I just kept dropping it, and dropping it, and dropping it. Back to the Harbor Freight aircraft store for a specialty tool. This is a torque screwdriver and it worked like a friggin' charm. But better though, because it was eye-wateringly expensive. All that was left was to run the engine and check for leaks. While I was doing this, I realized that my engine kind of runs like shit when it's cold, but I guess that's a problem for future rests. 
A post inspection revealed no new external oil underneath the valve covers where it's leaking before. Huzzah! 